yeah, first off, thanks for coming on here, Anna. Yay! Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Getting this thing started, how would you explain what it is that you do? You know, what is your work here in this life and really anything else that you want to get into? And we can go from there. <laughs> I'm just being. <laughs> I feel you. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen and um, somehow spiritual wisdom or insights wants to pour through this body vessel and um, it turns out through the form of art or speaking, holding space for others, space of unconditional love, uh, healing, where one can come to their heart and recognize who they really are. And so I'm speaking from that place and it just spontaneously happens. Mm. Moment to moment. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Just like an embodiment of a creative process that somehow you channel through the body of Anna. Mm. Source does it all. It creates constantly at any moment. And if we are open and available to become this empty flute, you know, through which God uh, is singing uh, its song, <laughs> oh, yeah. then it becomes beautiful. Amen. But the mm. thing is, we have to be open and available, right? So you're saying it's actually always available, but we have to, in a way, open the gates for yeah. this source to use us as a vessel? Mm, or step out of the way. Stop yeah. um, pretending that we are someone knowing better than what is happening and wants to happen in this moment through us. It is being in our heart and, yeah, available and receptive to that pulse, universal pulse that constantly, like a heartbeat. Mm. Uh, resonates through everyone. It's just going from the head into the heart, being the present moment. And uh, this is the truth of our being here and now. And it is not to be understood by the mind. So the mind wants to create the idea of what am I doing? What Anna's work here? Or <laughs> who is Anna? If Anna is an artist or put some label. But in truth, there's nothing like that. It's just life, life, li lifing. <laughs> life, life. And going yeah. with the flow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So where does this all come from to be able to see this, feel this, embody this? I understand totally what you're saying, <laughs> mm, but it's just like the hardest part for me is being able to actualize this wavelength and bring it into one's life. So how would you say that we do it or maybe how you have done it? How did you come to have this revelation dawn upon you? It is through inquiry of uh, who you really are. Diving mm -hmm. deep within and uh, questioning, who am I? Who am I? Uh, through meditation, self-inquiry. But one gets on the quest of self-discovery. And um, it can start with um, some traumatic event or suffering or something that we realize nothing in the world can bring us happiness and uh, mm. satisfy us truly. So then we are cornered and life invites us to look, us to look within. And within we find the um, infinite space of uh, spirit, oneness, source, awareness, consciousness. And that uh, we just in the beginning don't have words for it or what it is, but it, it, it is this presence, aliveness within you, within your body. And you start to withdraw yourself back from this ide ideas of um, conditioning. I am my name, I'm the form, and uh, I'm this and that. And mm -hmm. uh, just to start to lean back more and trust in, in, in the flow of life or that pulse, the awareness that you really are, the energy that lives through you 
And so it is dropping of the identification with the body-mind that happens sometimes gradually, sometimes very, um, like a big bang event for someone. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it happened, of course, Anna was uh, on a spiritual path for many years. Later, she was introduced to non-duality and had a big, 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 big bang. She disappeared. She just like, as an identity, she vanished. And then started like a period of dark night of the soul where all the hidden dark energies were risen or like suppressed emotions, shadows. And uh, so that was a period of healing followed by uh, integration of all parts of me which is which includes both uh, you know unmanifested part and this uh, manifested body mind mm -hmm. into wholeness into oneness and realigning body mind to the understanding of our being to the, that awareness that big bang that that i realized that i am nothing <laughs> and i'm everything and at the same time, here is this Anna, and she has a story, and she has a gift to share. So how to balance it out or reconcile, uh, this this is the process, and it's never ending. Yeah. It's never ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. I think an important <laughs> part or point that you brought up is something along the lines of our suffering or our pain or looking to quell our suffering in the world never adds up, right? It never truly uh, fills the cup that we have within us, the void, mm -hmm. but we always try countlessly mm -hmm. to try to fill the void with worldly stuff. And I think for all of us getting on this wavelength is reaching a point of exhaustion of how the world conditions us to fill the void and then from that exhaustion sometimes comes along a, a big bang right as yeah. you said and that opens us up to new horizons of actually how to um how to live essentially and just how to be and how to how to effortlessly just uh just be yeah i don't know how else to explain it but it all comes from point of my story it all comes from seemingly a point of there's got to be another way right mm -hmm. we just reach a point of like what this can't be it and i think all of us feel that but getting the glimpse into the other way um that's the hard part that's the tough part it's actually simple it's quite simple like you said it's just 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 resting in being your your, your nature it's the simplest thing it's hidden in plain sight but it's not easy because if it was easy, then I think we would all be able, we would all be on this wavelength, every single one of us. Isn't that ironic, though? It's like this essence that we're speaking on right now, the unspeakable, is uh, it's hidden in plain sight for all of us. It's in the moment. It's just really it's the cliche of be here now, live in the moment. And then that's how you just live in flow. These are all platitudes that I'm sure we've all heard before. but. It really is the truth. <laughs> it really is the truth. It's a cliche. I've said it plenty of times. We've all probably heard it plenty of times. But it's just like, get out of your own way. <laughs> and I think that's what we all come to realize, right? Is we realize that we've been doing this in some sort of way to ourselves. And that big bang is a realization that I got to get out of my own way. What have I been doing this whole time? Why am I... Um, why am I uh, attempting to fruitlessly fill the void with stuff that never works? So, yeah, would you say that is the essence is like a 180 reorientation into, say, like sovereignty or um, accountability in our actions or accountability in just um, our own happiness and peace that comes from this, like a true, a true freedom in this essence? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. 180 degrees, for sure. It yeah. is living from uh, inside out and filling up yourself from inside that you realize that the source is within you mm -hmm. and you're truly content only 
and happy for sure <laughs> unconditionally when mm -hmm. you have access to it directly not through some, some guru book or teacher constantly watching youtube videos it is you discover in your own solitude in your own presence in your own breath through your own conscious awareness piercing through your eyes right now yeah. that energy feeds you all the time and we just uh, lose energy to our mind to suffering to thought to thinking that there is a separate me <laughs> and there mm -hmm. is the world but in fact there is just this oneness manifesting as uh, infinite things all the time and our idea that we are a doer or we are in control that brings us the most of suffering that's the problem because <laughs> doer is always in the future or in the past and there is yeah. like a little me and there is like a big life a sea of life which i cannot control and it's always chaos because i never can make it to my own taste or my own expectations yes. <laughs> yeah. so it is seen like when you are whole and one with yourself you see that yin and yang, dark and light, it's all one. And any pain arises, beautiful. It's just another flavor of love. Uh, yeah. You see, you see other suffering. You don't jump and to try and to save them. You see that well. You give space. This is the way of life. Everyone is meant to wake up when it's time. Mm -hmm. And suffering, yeah, is greatest uh, catalyst for that. So there is no way uh, this. Manifest world can be without darkness. I would say the light workers or uh, this movement of, uh, you know, I'm, on, I'm the light and you're the dark. That's just creating polarity, more yeah. fight, feeding on to separation and moving back, leaning back into you. And yeah, as you say, it's a sovereignty, but that comes from the self with capital S not just their little ego being i'm a big <laughs> i'm a big sovereign one and mm -hmm. i know the way but it's true the surrender and letting go um there's a beautiful teacher just the one i mentioned michael singer that just helped with this surrender experiment he has a book to you know wash away some remaining parts of doubt or um, identification and completely see that life is always on my side and if i just trust and let go it shows me that everything is woven together so much more beautifully than uh, i could ever imagine it to be not to happen or my yeah intend my and i always saw that what anna tries to achieve and create out of the mind it never works and I exhaust myself, I burn out, I get sick. And it's just life was constantly nudging me through sickness, through suffering. I go back to self, go back to flow, trust your heart. That's yeah, it. You have everything within you. <laughs> That's it. Trust your heart. Yes. And let go <laughs> of expectations, egotistical yeah. expectations. That's huge. And surrender, as you said, to some kind of greater power, greater process. Right. With one sovereignty, yeah. this is the irony is right. We in our freedom, we surrender. And that's that's peace. That's flow because we could we could use this freedom however we want. Right. Almost like a, a free play video game. We have this realization of freedom. I can do whatever I want. That's wild. Yeah. Well, yeah. We don't. Yet we surrender. <laughs> it's a paradox. It's a paradox. Yeah. Kind of a joke. <laughs> you get the freedom when you surrender your freedom. That's that's the joke. Yeah, that's um, but there's like no other way, right? Because with this realization, you realize I have no other choice but to surrender to yeah. this, like this essence, this power, this greater power than I ever could be. So, yeah, it's definitely a paradox, definitely a joke. It's definitely ironic, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just it is it is the mind. Uh, we surrender the mind. In truth, mm -hmm. it, it is complete surrender already, and there is no doer at all, any any time. It, it's just a thought that we are doing something. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So we let go of the illusion. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Ah, <sighs> wonderful stuff. Yeah, <laughs> getting right into this conversation. Do you feel like you live in the flow? Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie and say I, I don't feel like I live in the flow, but there's 
also times where I feel out of the flow. I don't think I'm a perfect being. And I think we can all attest to that. All of us on this path, we might um, lose ourselves. But the thing is, once you tap into the flow, once you know it's a thing, once you take the red pill, it never leaves one. It's always, like I always know, no matter how dark or uh, just ignorant I could get in my actions, it's always there. Like once you realize this said flow or this wavelength that we're speaking on, it it's just, it never leaves you, right? Mm -hmm. It's like I could try to go against the flow as much as I want. That's what yeah. we're all essentially doing is we're rebelling against God in one way or the other. That's sort of biblical, but we're, we're going against the creator in one way or the other. We're going against the, the Tao, the flow. We can try all we want for eternity. We have eternity. Yet, yeah. once you realize that that's a thing, it's like you, you can't unsee it. So the most important part of this journey is, is being able to see it, right? It's to be able to just see it for the first time to get that light bulb moment. And the light may dim a little bit. The bulb may dim, but it's always on. Like once it comes on, it doesn't go off. And uh, so, yeah, to answer your question, I do feel as though, especially in conversations like this, there is a, a essence of flow. And as time goes by, more and more just going with the flow, just realizing that's a thing. But I'm not a perfect being. I'll admit it right now. Sometimes I get lost in the sauce. <laughs> but I always come back. I always come back into the river of life and flow, float downstream. And uh, that's the miracle of it. It's a, a sort of sense of forgiveness, forgiving oneself for messing up and knowing that there is grace. There's always that grace available. I think that's the grace of God, the forgiveness, the uh, redemption, you could say, that is available for all of us. You know, we've been ignoring this flow for, I don't know, millennia. <laughs> Who knows how long? <laughs> Who knows how long we've been ignoring this as a species, as humanity? But yet there's always that redemption available for all of us and that's the beauty and miracle of it yeah i know so that is also part of the flow you're losing the yeah. flow seemingly <laughs> yeah, losing. exactly yeah there's another joke right there <laughs> and that's where it gets trippy it's like even the darkness is is love you know like even all of this is part of the <laughs> of part of god yeah yeah you can mess it up yeah, yeah. even messing it up is part of the flow yep that's a tough pill to swallow, but that actually does come along with this realization I find is that even the most decrepit and darkest and evil things that humanity can do to each other, it's still God. It's still all God just playing out its play, divine play of Leela. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. It's tough to see and it's definitely mm -hmm. tough to see if you're going through it in the moment, but I don't know, with enough stillness of mind, it's actually quite apparent that obviously it's all God. It's all just another story and yeah. appearance It's playing yep. its part. And I'm not trying to bypass. I hope that doesn't sound like I'm bypassing to anybody here, spiritually bypassing the darkness of the world. It's not an excuse. It's just the truth. <laughs> it's all God. It's kind of the good news. It's like no matter what, we could never truly mess this whole thing up. No matter how bad it could get, quote unquote bad, it could get there's nothing that we have in our power to truly mess up the benevolence of this reality you know what i mean like yeah. mess up that love is the truth essentially that all of this is actually for us in one way or the other that there is a flow there's i don't have the power to do that right yeah. that's yeah. quite beautiful and that's actually that's a i don't know that just came to me right now like i don't i'm glad i don't have the power <laughs> that any human being has the power <laughs> yeah yeah that comes along with the surrender. This is a good talk. <laughs> this is yeah, a good talk, yeah. Uh, nothing happens unless it's the will of God. Mm -hmm. Even the darkest thing, which yeah. we call it's only a dark thing from our own perception of the mind because there is exactly. a judgment. Yeah. And judgment is the main separator from God, Ooh, that's from good. the truth, from the wholeness. Yeah. Yeah. Judgment is the main separator. We judge like creation. That yeah if it's happening that's it it's done it's happening mm. <laughs> and it's always happening it is divine yeah yeah that's very simple 
That's very succinct. If it's happening, it's done and it's divine. Yep, right there. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm. I don't even know what to say. It's very no, true. God talking to itself now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. God's talking to itself. God's listening to itself. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get to points in the conversation like this where it's like, okay, well, uh, be here now. Be still. <laughs> Let's drink tea. <laughs> drink yeah. tea and just hang out. That's it. <laughs> the show goes on. I don't have really anything else. What'd you say? This is the way of Tao. <laughs> the way of Tao? Mm, the natural mm. way. Just be. Mm. Mm. Well, let me ask you this one, actually. Because one mm -hmm. may think from this point of ultimate stillness that there is an essence of uh, passiveness or lethargy that may oh, come yeah. from it, right? But... I would argue and say it's actually quite the contrary. The form yeah. of Gary or Anna, whoever's listening, may find that from this ultimate potential comes some sort of supreme kinetic energy, you know, Shiva to Shakti. Oh, I like it. And that is the ultimate refinement, I feel. It's actually like empowerment in the form. So do you, I mean, I, know, I already know you do feel it, but I want you to maybe explain a little bit. Do you feel that there is this ultimate creativity that comes forth from your being to be able to just uh, paint and come on here and speak to people. Hold on, I think somebody's it's... going by with music. I don't know, somebody's playing music. Do you hear that? I know, just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's really loud where I am. <laughs> but yeah, sorry to uh, interrupt yeah, the question fine. there. D did you get what I was uh yeah, 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 no, totally. When you surrender your own will or separate self, it's almost like you gain the power of totality, but not mm. as yourself. It's you act, or this body mind acts out of this pure potentiality, pure love, pure power, pure creativity. There is no separation. It's just outpouring of you. You're not acting from, you know, you are empty, you are lacking, and you try to create something, like, to get something, you know. You're acting from, oh, my God, like, where can I, how can I share all of this? It's too much for me to handle on my yeah. own. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's so much energy here. Mm -hmm. I, I want to share this love. And uh, it's not even I want to share it. It's, it's you will see it's arising through you. And it's almost, I, I see this beautiful pattern unfolding and becomes a painting or a talk or something or space I've created now. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just complete fearlessness. There is not even concept of fear. There is no, it's just doing what's in a moment without any um, filter as it was before of yeah. what they would think about me or, uh, you know, what I will get about it. And like this self-talk, that's actually the one that drains your energy mm -hmm. and makes you very lethargic and passive, makes yep. you... Uh, <laughs> go and drink beer and lay on the couch <laughs> Yep. and compensate. So, compensate. It, it, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. well said. I have uh, this question a lot from people that do not trust enough the source that they feel that they kind of be lose their personality or lose their will, or they will just be a vegetable on the couch and uh, mm -hmm. they can't go all the way, you know, to, completely drop the attachments and desires of this world and they, they hold them because they think they oh once i surrender fully i can't pay my bills or i'll be just <laughs> yeah. like uh, uh alone no one will want to meet me yeah I, I will just be like romano harshi silent for 10 years <laughs> yeah and, mm -hmm. i mean this can happen in rare cases but that that you your system sort of recalibrates to realization and this high frequency, but it on, it's only if like there was a lot of um, density, I would say, and mm. suddenly this high energy comes. So it may take a while to to recalibrate yourself and system, but it picks up, it picks up, and then your system is rewired and gets a new software that's mm. just pure. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I mean, the personality gets polished. It gets actually, it starts to shine more brighter. Yep. Better than any uh, self development program can help you to do. But still, I want to say that you still can do your like um, mirror polishing work, like stained glass. You, you just, uh, you, you still consciously can include and invite your body, mind, change your diet, change your lifestyle. And that would feel aligned, but it comes from inspiration, from love, not from, I need to fix myself. I'm so wounded. I need to heal myself and I'm lacking. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well said. Yeah. It comes from inspiration. Yeah. Divinely yeah. expired. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, what's also beautiful about that, that refinement and that expression of our being is it's different for all of us. Every single mm -hmm. human being has their own knack or their own dharma that the divine expresses itself through. Yeah. The sage... I think it's important to mention. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Because many people also get stuck with that they will need to sit and be a teacher and, and sit in a cave and meditate. And, and I would say enlightenment in action looks for everyone very different. Someone can be a housewife. Someone can be a politician. Someone can be a... A warrior uh, someone can hold a podcast like you do it's mm -hmm. very unique and special and uh, it's only when you come to the zero point your true expression starts to shine fully yeah and you can serve the best like in the body organisms there are many different cells of different organs if every cell tried to become the heart cell mm. we died so the yeah it, People are like cells of the body of the planet, and we need different roles. That's a good point. And yeah. highest expression in every sector of society. That's a good yeah. point. <laughs> mm. Do you think there is an essence, though, to the refined expression? As in, we it all comes about in different ways. You know, some people drive race cars, some people paint pictures, some people bake cakes, some people just... Like you said, our housewives, nothing too grandiose. But do you think there is a similarity, a commonality between all of them that we could describe? Yeah, that's a joy. That's something you love to do. That's something that you mm -hmm. do just to, out of joy, out of love, not to. You enjoy the process. It's yeah. uh, effortless for you. And I love, I, I love the concept of inner child. Everyone has inner child within. That's something that uh, that spark, innocent spark of. That little one within you that never gets old, uh, your inner child is always with you, and uh, you you have special set of talents or things you like to do. Someone likes to speak, someone likes to paint, dance, uh, whatever it is. Someone is a scientist. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're wired for that. So, mm -hmm. but it is following your natural expression. Mm, and again, getting out of the way. So, and if you need to get the skills, then you go and study. There's nothing wrong with that. Also, you learn the technology or the, this method of expression for yourself. So the the, the um, uh, horizontal expression is still evolution. It's still continuous. You still go take courses. You still can evolve as a person. Yeah. But it happens all within the totality. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> It's always mm -hmm. within the totality. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd also say on the other side of the coin, it's we explained how everyone is unique, but it's also powerful and relevant that we have people that have paved the way, like Buddha or Jesus or any other sage that have paved the way, yeah. that have showed their way. Uh, it's just that we yeah. you can't really replicate that to a T, but you can you can definitely learn from them in their way, right? They became Jesus. They became Buddha. They became exactly. who they are. Yeah. So, so we all Anna become our own Buddha. Different. Yeah. yeah. Anna is Anna. <laughs> Osha is completely different. Yeah, exactly. It's just this like certain uh, authenticity in the realized being. You know, there's like something that like when you're living your story and you're living your authentic Dharma, there's just the resonance that comes from Mm -hmm. that that way of living that way of life that is 
um, unreplicable and also just so real that um, yeah it's just like it's like a puzzle piece and only you could fit into that puzzle piece it's like that's especially made for your being but like we said you just got to get out of your own way you just got to get out of yeah. the way it just happens personality just happens when you let yeah. go of yourself mm. and some pe and people that. perceive you as oh buddha or as jesus and they write down what you said and they create religion <laughs> out of it but you're yeah. just being empty in a moment and source yeah. speaking through you yeah and it's unique um, language they use uh, everyone talks about it differently that's why there's so many religions and confusion yep <laughs> exactly we they're need all to saying look the same at thing at the essence yeah mm -hmm. yeah i like to say the truth is one yeah yeah the truth is one we <laughs> call it by many many names oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> many different fingers pointing at the moon mm -hmm. and also too to bring up jesus or any other sage a lot of sages in the past they lived on this wavelength despite people just berating them despite getting crucified despite mm -hmm. the world totally against them i think that's what's also powerful too you find this empowerment that is beyond the noise and the bullshit and you live on that alignment despite anything else like there's nobody that could bring you back into the illusion mm -hmm. with enough like with enough authenticity and enough alignment in one's purpose and one's um realization there is nothing that can sway one away from the way and that's very powerful as well i'm not saying everybody's gonna get uh physically killed or crucified <laughs> i'm not saying that but maybe metaphorically right mm -hmm. especially in the illusion that we live in in today's world, metaphorically, there might be a lot of people that will uh, crucify you or just shun you for one's belief because it is completely, like we said before, a 180 from the popular paradigm. But yet it doesn't, one will find that that doesn't matter. There is a strength that comes from living according to Tao, the Tao or God or the Holy Spirit that conquers all, really. It's just true power. It's true power. And it's not power that, um, to, dictate the will of others as we colloquially know power as it's power of like just like we said uh, like we mentioned plenty of times in the uh, previous minutes of the conversation just power which you live authentically and freely in sovereign despite despite everything else in the world and that is yeah. uh truly a miracle <laughs> it's truly miraculous I love it. right yeah, because like you can probably attest if somebody were like, hey, Anna, you got to stop painting. That's not right. Your paintings are heresy. You probably still keep painting, <laughs> right? You probably still keep talking on your YouTube channel. Despite, I mean, despite what anyone says. And that's like, there's something cool about that. It's like you're, you're, you're yeah. just firmly still in who you are. That's so mm, special. It's so special, even though it's really not special. Like we all have this ingrained in us as we spoke of before. Mm -hmm. But in the illusion, we seem to be caught in. It is quite special to be able to do that. And um, yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to get that off my chest. I don't know if you have anything yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so beautiful. Yeah. I, I love to hear it in your words. Uh, you have this masculine power and all, and, and it sounds very different. <laughs> nice. I would try to explain. <laughs> I, I, well, you have a nice femininity yeah, like to balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel yeah. it's like a gravitational pull of your awareness is turned within at the source. And, and source is at, at the core of everything you do and you are, and, and you see source in everyone. It's just in my language. Uh, so you feel the truth, this resonance, you can't deny it. And yep. it doesn't matter what others say. They don't recognize your recognition. They don't see you as a, whatever. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You know it. It's like knowing that's undeniable. As you say, when you take a red pill, that's it. You, you yeah. the world changed. No Absolutely. one can tell you. Go back. Yeah. Imagine mm -hmm. what it must have felt like to sages of the past because they didn't have the internet. So sages that realized this, <laughs> yeah, and they were the only one in the village. Cuckoo. 
Yeah. Am I cuckoo? <laughs> right? At least like in our times, we can do this, me and you and anyone tuning in in the future and be like, oh, okay, of course. Right? We have plenty of other examples, people of the past that we can learn from and people of today that we can literally talk to. So that's a miracle. That's another miraculous um, part of the times that we live in. But hallelujah to the people of the past that paved the way for us that didn't have it because mm -hmm. they were really strong. They were really strong despite the despite the illusion and delusions of the world. So um, yeah, all praise to the sages of the past and the dharma of the past. But yeah, yeah, I guess they did it for us. They paved the way in some some sort of way as an example like i said and maybe that's our purpose here i don't know i don't like to think too much about it but maybe our purpose here is to pave the way for future generations right despite the illusion and darkness <laughs> i don't know maybe maybe that's what we're doing who knows either way I i'm just having we're a creating good time polarity here again what do you mean and that this is also a part of illusion <laughs> Even someone being enlightened is also a part of illusion. Yeah, when the sage is a part of uh, manifestation, mm -hmm. the self is unmanifest and the truth is just is. And uh, when someone gets enlightened or they just realize who, who they are and what everyone else is, and they just go beyond this world, and this is undeniable once, once you see it. And this, then, and then the world goes on, and that also happens all by itself. And realization happens by itself. But realization, people just assign like a special meaning to a person that that is a realized person, and they did it. Yeah, yeah. But it's you know, it, it's all in the cards of the self to play it out this way. And mm. I would think, like, try to just find some purpose. There is no purpose. Oh, there is many purposes. We can just, you know, for our comfort, create them. <laughs> there is no purpose, yet there is also infinite purpose. Yeah. Yeah. It's for your inspiration. Whatever drives you forward, whatever works for you, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's also like, to your point, there are enlightened beings, but yet we're all enlightened beings. It's uh, <laughs> Yeah, the being. Yeah, we're all the enlightened being. <laughs> So, yeah, it just depends on um, where you're speaking from. It's hard to talk about this stuff because um, yeah, it's like when you deal with mouth noises, <laughs> rude and uh, crude and rudimentary ways of talking as we're talking and communicating as we're communicating, you have to speak in absolutes, right? It's hard to speak in paradox. <laughs> Maybe yes. that's the point of poetry and Zen kohans and certain yeah. things like that. But it's like when I reach the period, it's usually an absolute. So that means it's like, oh, then the mind wants to attach to that absolute. It's like, oh, this this is how it is. But it's really yeah, no, <laughs> no, it's really no absolute. There's it's uh, it's a we're a, a multifaceted being. We're we're an infinite being with no absolutes. So it's like in a way, I almost look at myself as a clown, right? On here, I'm just like <laughs> a jester. It's like, what are you even trying to say, right? It's like, come on, man. All I can say is I know nothing and that uh, there it's the truth is a paradox. There is, uh, there's just too many platitudes that I could throw out, but it's really at the end of the day is uh, this whole wavelength we're speaking on right now goes beyond words. So that's why yeah, I feel it's like the sometimes vibration the clown. That matters. Yeah, exactly. It's the, it's, yeah, it's the vibration in a direct subjective, I was going to say experience, but it's also beyond experience. See that right there, I'm already caught in my own words. But it's a direct mm -hmm. subjective realization, maybe a seeing from one's own point of view, not from a podcast, not from another enlightened being of the past, mm -hmm. not from any book, not from anything else that is outside of you. A direct seeing right here, right now, boom, like that's oh, it. I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all. That's nothing else to say maybe we should just wrap it up at that <laughs> just boom go everyone home <laughs> that's Close it this podcast. see you later everybody <laughs> but yeah the point is is you can't get too as you're what you pointed out you can't even get too distracted by enlightenment that's another attachment this whole idea of self-realization beings of the past that transmitted the dharma yeah that's that's cool that's relevant praise them but even that can be another attachment the spiritual path 
could be another attachment. They live in here, distraction. In you, through you. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Yeah, is to bring it home, bring it home to your heart, and uh, it just naturally you become the sage in some sort of way. You become the enlightened being, however you do it, in the simplest way that you can do it. All of us can do it. All of us, excuse me, oh, sorry. All of us can become the Buddha in our own simple way in our simple life. And mm. um, yeah, you don't have to do yeah. anything crazy. You don't have to make a podcast. You don't have to write a book, paint pictures, do anything. It's so simple. This wavelength, this essence that we're speaking on, it's viable for all of us in our lives, in our everyday lives. I say this a lot, but I'll say it again. It can be like, excuse me it can be like you give money to the homeless guy or you, you really sit down and listen to someone that is having some sort of problem you just you really listen to them you merge almost it's like a sort mm -hmm. of merging into the moment um mm -hmm. yeah i don't know i'm going on and on as i spoke yeah i'm just a, yeah, I'm just a jokester here i'm just a jester but it's about really just Finding this flow in whatever circumstance that may arise. And if you know, you know. I'll keep it at that. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to take a deep breath after that. Uh, it's the ironic thing, and you find this probably too, is that uh, we can recognize that the truth, quote unquote, is beyond words, unspeakable, ineffable yet I can't help but speak about it. Like there's something in me that wants to just mm -hmm. spread the good word, right? Mm -hmm. But I know there's mm -hmm. a futility in it. There is ultimately a futility that my mouth noises could never really touch. Yep. But yet, but here we are, 200 here podcasts are. later, <laughs> saying the same stuff that I've said, that people have said in the past, but yet here we are. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Can't help it. Can't help it. Can't help it. Exactly. This is what's happening. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest with you, Anna. I think it's a good note to wrap it up at. I don't have anything else to say. Do you have anything else that you want to say and get off your chest before we wrap this up? Just inviting everyone into their heart and remember, remember who you are. You are the truth. You are the light. You are the beauty and you are art, your gift to this world. Just step out of the way and flow and be and rejoice in everything that you are. Express, yeah, realize that you are the truth. Amen. Yes. And breathe. Just remember <laughs> to breathe. Let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> remember to breathe you can always come back to the breath it starts with the breath let the heart lead the way that's it <laughs> well thank you Anna <laughs> I think this was an awesome thank talk you. I really appreciate you coming on here and keep doing your thing thank you thank you I appreciate your podcast and your <laughs> talks and what you do it's not for nothing and I love your way of expressing your truth yeah. and the truth much love much love to you much love to the listener. <laughs> and that's it. Peace and love, everybody. Goodbye.